it's always happy and sunny in pay to play land plenty of stuff there plenty of things to draw a lot of a lot of fun and excitement there hey there it's big tony here at natchi coming at you with a little beacon rush action we are on the rome map and i hear the birds are going crazy from my kids room so you'll probably hear some chirping maybe I'm hoping the noise cancellation on this device picks <laughs> screens that out a little better. But if you hear it, that's what's going on. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about my 9.5. This is my 9.5 wrap-up video for you guys. Uh, I'm starting off here with a Deceiver and two damper equipped. Uh, my two damper equipped <laughs> Ophian. I finally have four of those bad boys. It's taken me the whole event to get there. But I finally got four of the dampers at MK2 level 8 plus. So we are, there we go, some nice killer with the DOT effect. Um, I finally got myself where I want to be as far as number of weapons from this event. It's taken me almost a whole event. And they blocked me down. And, ugh, gosh darn it, at least I got one kill with it. You guys have cheesed me off. And now I'm going to have to get vengeance on you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Tamer and uh, Mace equipped uh, Ochokochi, and we're just going to blow a few things up here. Okay, let's go ahead and give my thumbs up or thumbs down on the event. Uh, we'll do this, of course, in categories. Let's just get the pay-to-play guys out of the way. Of course, it's a thumbs up. It's always a thumbs up. It's always happy and sunny in pay-to-play land. Plenty of stuff there, plenty of things to draw, a lot of, a lot of fun and excitement there. Let's go ahead and move down to the pocket change spenders which I'm kind of in between pocket change and regular spender. Uh, I'm going to have to say it was okay. You could definitely get your hands on some uh, data pads, and there were some free ones that were given out. And you could definitely get yourself into some of these newer weapons. I'm not saying you'd get enough to uh, equip uh, a whole hanger of them, but you could definitely get your hands on a few of them. So I, I'll have to give it a thumbs up on that. Um, but it could be better. They could always loosen things up a little bit. Of course, the uh, there are a lot of prizes in the data pads that were like 500 components, which I think are ridiculous. I don't think there should be any prizes from a data pad draw under a thousand. There really, really shouldn't. Uh, but that's that's just my opinion. Now, of course, for the free to play, of course, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. Uh, this game has been horrible for the free to play crowd. Uh, you could barely get your hands on any data pads. You could. You know, you weren't going to get your hands... If you get your hands on one or two, a trickster and a, a damper, or a trickster and a tamer throughout this uh, you know, event, you were kind of lucky. Uh, I mean, they're just... I mean, free to play, they're really, really not catering to that crowd. And it's been that way for over a year. So you already guys know, I'm pretty much just going to give it a thumbs down. Unless something extraordinary happens. And they did give some gifts out. Uh, and, you know, they were okay. But was it was it the primo stuff out there, the best stuff out uh, that's coming in this event? No, it wasn't. So it's not. It wasn't the greatest. But at least you get your hands on something. Uh, so there we go from the you know the value, you know the value component of it. Now let's talk about the event itself. This is our quote unquote Halloween event, and it started after Halloween, which to me makes no sense. <laughs> it should have started. Uh, back, you know, a month before. It should have ran from, you know, the start of October to the end of October, or middle of September to uh, Halloween. That way it really culminated on Halloween. It would feel more like a Halloween event. And Pixonic's always been that way. They're kind of a day late and a dollar short on that. They're always behind the ball. Uh, but that's just how they structure it. That's just how all these uh, updates drop. And these updates, yeah, they're event-oriented, but they're really more about dropping new content. And that, to me, is kind of one of the downfalls of these quote-unquote events. Because, I mean, aside from the, uh, you know, the anniversary event where we actually had specialty streams, we had a lot of, we actually had a lot of community engagement and involvement on that. Uh, that was an event. This is just more like a season. And I don't know why we call them events. They really shouldn't be events. They should be just seasons. And because everything that you get is pretty much either on a paid track or on a, gotcha style event where you have to buy data pads crates loot boxes whatever you want to call them but uh, that's just my opinion as far as you know it this being an event i'm giving it a meh a sideways thumb it, it it's it's there i don't see any special maps with a lot of uh, you know decoration on it the, the hanger looks a little alienish so it looks kind of halloweenish 
Um, but I mean, it really, I think they could do a lot better job on that. So I'm going to give them a meh sideways thumb on this as being an actual event. Okay, we're pounding these guys out here. There's like one guy left. I think we, eh, yeah, two guys left. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Now, I'm finally, the one thing that did happen in this event is I got uh, pretty much, I buffed my hanger up to the point now where I have got myself up above 10,000 in league points. I mean, I'd, I'd still need to pump in another, I think, another four or 6,000 to make it to Legends League. That's as close as I've gotten uh, during any event as far as being close to Legends League. Yeah, so, and I played quite a bit because I'm grinding out the operations passes. I'm grinding out uh, all the necessary, uh, you know, challenges to get the, the necessary resources to build my hangar up. And it's, it's been a grind. Definitely, guys, it's been a very, very interesting uh, 9.5 from a personal gameplay standpoint. Alrighty, guys, quick wrap up here, and then we're out. I uh, had 10 kills, 5 beacon caps, 4 assists, 6.8 million in uh, damage dealt, and uh, 2.8 million in silver. It was a fun one. Uh, definitely, guys, uh, the 9.5 event, has been, it's been interesting, but it was pumping out a lot of gear. That was a, this was this was a content generator. This was definitely one where I could get out there and uh, play with new toys and get to, you know uh, got a new bot, the Dagon. The Dagon is definitely a beast. And if you guys have seen me do it in gameplay, you guys know that this is an FFA monster. You get enough weapons on that thing, all six of them, it is a monster. And this is the first time that we've actually seen us break from the four weapon max cap that's been forever. We're talking almost a decade. We are into the six weapon plus category. So now we're going to be seeing a whole change starting in 9.6 and moving on. We're looking at more weapons, more power, more power creep in the game. So 9.5 is kind of the la the, the start of a new era in the game. I'm going to say the last. 9.4 would have been the last of the four weapon bot era. We are now into the 9.5, or 9.5 will be the five, six, seven, or at least six weapon uh, bot era as far as things go. And I will be covering more stuff down the down the pipe here as far as my predictions for 2024, as far as what I think is going to develop in the game. But for now, let's just uh, finish it up 9.5. Generally, it was okay for free to play. Eh, not so much, but not much has really changed. Alrighty, guys, time to bail out here. If you guys liked it, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications. That way, you know when I'm dropping it. Alrighty, guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.